So I wanted to share my project with everyone. For that, we need a version control system. So today we will discuss about GitHub, which is a version control system where we can place our code and uh, which can be accessible to all of you. Okay, so let's see step by step how we can create an account in GitHub and uh, link it to Eclipse project and then how we can push our code to GitHub. First of all, we need to navigate to github.com. Okay, if you don't have an account already, you can click on sign up button. Here you can provide your email ID and click on continue. On the next page, you can provide a password. You will be getting one confirmation mail. You need to click on that link and your GitHub account will be created. Since I already have an account, I click on sign in. Um, I've already provided my username and password, so I will click on the sign in button. So now you can see I have signed into GitHub. So here you can click on create a new repository. Okay, so in order to push our code, first we need to create a repository in GitHub. And um, this is our this is basically our username, and we need to provide a repository name. Repository name I'll keep it as uh, smart password. We can provide any description which is optional. So we will keep this repository as public because I want anyone on the internet to see this repository and download the code then we are going to click on create repository okay you can see the repository has been created and this is the url of our repository fine now we will navigate to eclipse you can see uh, here we need to navigate to window show view okay other here we need to select git so basically we need two things first of all git repositories and git staging so first i will select git repositories you can see we got git repositories here okay uh, let me bring the staging part as well window show view other staging okay so this is basically where our repositories will reside so once we make any changes to our files it will show up here so that we can add them and commit our changes okay first of all we need to clone a git repository okay so in order to clone the repository we need to provide the uri which is nothing but this url i will copy it paste it here we need to provide username and password click on next and finish so you can see we got the smart classroom repository under git repositories uh, preview okay our next step is we need to share our project so we will right click on the project and go to team share project here we need to select our repository and we will click on finish so you can see all our files listed under unstaged changes so we need to select all and drag it to staged changes we need to provide a commit message okay so first we need to commit our changes and then push to the git repository that is the usual process so we are going to provide a commit message it should be a message relevant to our changes now either we can commit and then push otherwise we can click on commit and push at once okay here we need to provide the user name and password then click on login so today we discussed how we can share our project in github okay so this is the path basically where our project is residing uh, you can go to this path and download the code from here so let's see the process again um, let us understand what git is git is uh, the most commonly used version control system it tracks the changes you make to the files uh, so you have a record of what has been done and you can revert to specific versions at any point of time okay uh, so first of all we need to have an account in github okay you know how to create an account in github once the account is created uh, you can uh, create a new repository so let me show you you can create a new repository by clicking on this button so these are the two repositories that we have um, this is the smart classroom repository in which we are going to place all our projects okay um, so java fundamentals is the project that we have shared in git okay 
so basically what we do is uh, we need these two views git repositories views and git staging view once we have the git repository view we can click on this uh, clone a git repository link so once you click on it we need to provide the git url to basically clone the git repository here okay for smart classroom okay this is uh, if you click on code you can get the https url of our git repository okay that particular URI we can provide here and we can enter the credentials once that is done if we have any project we need to right click on the project go to team and uh, there will be a share project option we can click on it to share our project and now um, if we are making any changes to our files let's say we are adding a line here learning java and selenium with smart classroom and uh, whenever we are saving our changes uh, it will show us under unstage changes we need to drag it to stage changes provide a git commit message let's say print example changes we need to commit and push okay you can see the message that it is pushed to smart classroom so sometimes uh, instead of uh, entering the correct uh, username and password we get some error while pushing so in that case what we need to do we need to navigate to git uh, here we need to go to the git settings and then we need to go to developer settings and click on personal access tokens here we have to generate a new token okay so we need to provide a node we need to select repo um, that is for repository and then we need to click on generate token once the token is generated we can copy the token we can provide the token name over there instead of password while pushing our code so this is all about git i will leave uh, the git url in the description section for you to download the code thank you